In August 2011, I had a couple of conversations with John Ryan where we looked at three photographs. One taken about 1928 of Old Porirua, another one that looks also at Old Porirua and shows Mungavan House before it was shifted, and a third, a glorious photo of Mungavan House in its glory days. My parents had the general store there, and then after, it was about 40 years over in there, and I grew up there, left school and started working in the store with my sister and, and brother. My brother was in the war, came back from the war, and then after a while we sold out to Nangs. They took over, and then the, after about three years, they, they, they built this house here, where we are now, in 5 Champion Street. That's the old pub, it used to be the old pub. And that was taken over by the Macra County Council in those days. That's what we were under, the Macra County Council. Well, it lost its licence, actually, because it was a few of the patients were coming down and getting... Uh, getting on the, on the old boozer, but you know, and so they, they scrubbed that, they, they cut out the licence altogether. Then, and then it was de-licensed and then the council took it over and used to be the council officers for quite a few years till the whole thing got knocked down all along here uh, and that all this part was all more or less scrubbed. And then we had the uh, drapery store there, well, go, and then coming back a bit further was a little boot makers, little wee place with the boot makers, and you get to our place. On the other side, which you, which you can't see with those trees, was the, the post office. That part, paddock there, that big area, half was old Pop Eastwood's place, he lived there. And that part there was my parents' part, they had four acres each they were. And this is uh, our old school. They had a paddock going out behind there, of course. And another part that was added on afterwards for the, what they called the infant school. And we went, went right up to a standard six, and then you had to go to college to, to London after that. Yeah, that's the process hall here with this big shell on it. Mm -hmm. See the shell sign? Mm -hmm. Well, that's process hall, yes. That's the St Anne's Church. I can remember that, just opposite the cow bale. Mm -hmm. And of course they moved that to uh, the lower Arrowwater Street, didn't they? That's the old cow bale. And uh, there. Mm -hmm. And along here, the back of these yards was a sheep wool shed here. And they actually had pigs there as well at one stage. But that was a wool shed, I saw that well enough, all right, for quite a few years. And they had a lot, lot of sheds, implement, implement sheds, they used to keep their ploughs and things in, in the stables, the old stables, wool stables were here. Well, the stream uh, used to wander right round there, right round there by that road. This was originally the main road, and it came across the railways. And they moved it round there and went round there like that, and they built the ramp. Followed the stream around the road, really. Then, mm. well, since then they've knocked the ramp down, and of course this is virtually wiped out now, and they've mm. altered the whole face of it, really, mm. of the old town. Mm. So that's the uh, Mungaman Homestead. Yep. Uh, when before before most of the trees got grown, tennis court there. On the other side was a big, big lawn. They used to play croquet on that, and up in here they had a sort of a. a Lake, a lake, we went over these bridges and things, you know. Well, it was just down on this side, and then up further was an orchard. It had a big, big driveway. They used to come up, well, I told you about those gates. They used to come up on the other side there and wander around into the front. And it came out there and round there, if, really how they got to it, and back again. Big drive right up. Hmm. After this, John and I talked about Mungavan House, which you can see in part two of this story.